All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. It's time to show you the new Boya setup, man. This is a new setup, a wireless three-in-one microphone setup from Boya, and it has onboard recording. Now, this might be something that's just gonna be right on par, obviously a direct competitor for other um, OEMs that do onboard recording or have these portable wireless microphones like this. So this is uh, the Boya mic here, and you can see it's got, um, on the package here, you can see all the things that, you can pause this and look at it. So you've got the three audio adapters, you've got 25 hours of battery life, that's what the case, 12 hours of onboard recording on each of the handheld mics. You've got 200 meters of wireless zoom, which is really good, dual channel, obviously, uh, audio monitoring, eight gigs of internal storage on there. So you got a high resolution OLED display, wireless charging, and a lavalier mic, in mic included. Now, that lavalier mic included is gonna be a game changer for a ton of people. Uh, because you end up clipping the bigger portion on your shirt and it flops around or whatever. But let's get this unboxed. Uh, and again, you can pause this and read it and check it out. Uh, but um, nonetheless, this is obviously going to be a way more affordable. Oops, mic check. Uh, way more affordable setup than other uh, companies. I'm trying to kind of drop this out here. All right. You got your materials here. Don't eat that. Let's get this over here. Boya stickers. You've got a little thing here to download the user manual if you want to. Let's put this aside. And in here, should be a pouch or something probably. Oh, these are the cables and the pouch. All right, so this thing comes with the lavalier mic, which is really nice, and all the microphones that you need. Now, first off, this is really nice. Are there wind filters in here? Or is it more of the little... Yeah, more stuff here. Lavalier mic clips, microphone tips, and everything is there, and wind filters. So I'm put this out here, and here are all the tips. I'll transfer tool. And where are my wind filters? There they are. I'm really curious about the wind filters. Okay, yeah, they're they're kind of a, a, a snap on. We'll get to that in just a second. But you get the two wind filters. You get the lavalier mic there. Um, here's the lavalier mic. And you get, oh, you get two lavalier mics. Get out, man. That, this is like the ultimate. Because lavalier mics from DJI are 40 bucks, folks. 40 bucks for this little little mic right here. 40 bucks. This is a game changer. The, Boya is really, really, really coming at, at DJI with this setup right here. And I don't see it any other way. Um, this, this is really, really nice, man. You get two lavalier mics right in the packaging here's your transfer cable and here's your audio cable there no trrs but still got it all right you've got look at that lets you know that it's can wireless charge there so this is an 1800 milliamp hour battery inside of here looks like now on the back here you see your type c and on the front here you've got some boya logos let me clean up the desk real quick and we'll focus on the microphones all right so opening it up here same setup as um the other setups that you see for for things like this with these wireless setups uh so popping it out here you can see it's going to be taped up here but your onboard record button is right there that little it's a big red button and i really like that this actually has the oh man the strong <sighs> magnet on the back so if you do want to clip this to your shirt that is a strong magnet. Uh, you've got your noise reduction right there and your power right there. Uh, now these don't have an LED on here, but it does have the LED indicators. Uh, and I'm gonna test this with and without the um, um, lavalier mic. But this right here, kinda not a fan of this, how it goes on. Uh, snaps in like this, the wind filter. Kinda difficult to get in there. So tw oh, it's a twist. Yeah, it's a twist. So. It'll stay on there for sure, but it is a twist. So I'll test it like this first, and then I'll do the lavalier mic. Uh, so yeah, you get two of these receivers, eight gigs of recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off here. And then when I pop it in, it should start to charge there a little bit. When it's closed. Yeah, these are these are legit, man. I mean, um, having and they are charging. You can see the little red indicators there. 
You can see it there. You can see it there. You can see the battery is obviously charging right there. So having these um, like this, uh, these should pair instantly. You can see it's blue on there. So you can see automatically test, test, test. You can see the microphone gains there as I speak into this microphone, test, test, test. Uh, and I'll show you some audio recording from this directly. And then I'll also record to, the, to a source. Uh, but uh, here's the microphones and everything here. This just pops out, put that in the bag. And then this slides on. There's arrows here. So if you want to slide it on, if you have one of the newer iPhones, you're going to slide it on like so. Oh, my bad. Like that. And it'll go on to my type C iPhone. And there's nothing special about it that you need to do. You just plug it in like this. And it's going to it'll start recording through this audio source right here. And it's an app for the Boya, Boya mic. So when you plug it into your phone, you can go ahead and go to the Boya mic. So it's not available. Let's see if we can search for it. Even though up there at the top, it shows that it's connected like a microphone. That's really all you need. I believe it's going to be this one right here from Boya Sound. I don't know for sure, but nonetheless, I've used microphones like this. And if you're going to... Uh, vlog with the rear camera you can plug it in like this if you just really want to see the gains and the gains you'll be able to notice them right there as you see talking right there you can see that there, there it is like that and I'll go ahead and vlog for you guys at some point but this this also should work uh, with your Samsung's and, and, and everything this type C and if you have one of the older generation iPhones they have this for you right here the lightning cable so now let's get some some sound clips and then I'll also take a lavalier mic with me so I can get this plugged in. If you want to use the lavalier mic, let me show you here. And I'll get a clip. Here's a clip for a lavalier mic. Because this is clutch, man. This is a much better, let's just be real here. They're definitely coming for, um, they're coming for, uh, for what's the name? They're, they're coming for them uh, because Giving, giving lavalier mics inside of the uh, case, that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's just incredible. There we go. So microphone goes on like that. I'll clip it the other way for me. All right, like that. Uh, and then it plugs in down here into this little hole. So remember, I'll show you some lavalier usage and I'll show you some regular usage and I'll show you uh, some onboard sound clips. So let's go over here and let's get some recording done real briefly. And this will also work with a laptop or things like that. So I think that's how I'll probably test this for you just to give the videos clarity for you so you can see exactly what I'm using. All right, let's go record. All right, so I've uh, got the mic plugged in. It's super windy out here for sure too. So. I'll give you a test with the wind filter or with no wind filter and then just the phone itself. But for now, this is what the audio is going to sound like if I have a clip right here. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go ahead and peel it off here. There's a lot of people use microphones and they hold them like this or some people have it in their hand like this. Well, it looks like they're talking to their hand, but it's actually the microphone right here. So uh, this is it. This is what it sounds like with a very windy day out and you're going to see um, just how well these do in the wind um, versus not having the wind filter and then also um, just using the phone itself. So now I'm going to switch to just the phone. Um, no, I'll do wind filter. I'll do no wind filter real quick uh, and then I'll switch to just the phone and then I'll show you what it's like uh, to use the lavalier mic in this condition. All right, now here it is with no wind filter, uh, just all this windiness. Uh, and it is very windy out here, folks. You should be able to hear it. I'm not talking very loud, but it's definitely windy out. Uh, and you can see how it handles uh, this type of uh, weather with no wind filter. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug in uh, the lavalier mic. Now here is the lavalier mic uh, plugged in in the same condition right here. Super windy. Uh, but this is what it'll sound like if you talk directly into the lavalier mic. And if you have it plugged about right here, this is what the audio could possibly sound like in this very windy conditions here. Now let's switch to no microphones at all and remove the transmitter and receiver from the phone. Now this is just the phone itself. Here's the uh, transmitter. 
uh, the receiver's in my pocket, so this is what it'll sound like if you just use your phone out here in these windy conditions. Now let's go inside and uh, finish out and do some more recording real quick. All right, so now the audio that you're listening to is coming directly from this microphone. You can do a dual recording like you can with another source, but I'm going to go ahead and just tell you, this is definitely going to be probably really decent audio. Uh, and I'll show you now how to do the receiver. The receiver is not plugged into the MacBook, so I want to give you, give you this recording style first. But you can see the levels moving there. You can see the levels right there going up and down as I speak. Uh, but... Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and show you now the um, receiver itself and how you control it, how you edit settings and things like that. But uh, we'll close out, man. This is a direct recording. You can see here. You can see the little red mic is going. You can see it, see it right there. See the red mic that lets you know that it's recording directly onto the microphone. And the way you'll the way you'll get it off is there's a Type C port on the side there. You just plug it into your computer. Uh, and that's how you transfer your audio. So now let's go back to the um, uh, official setup here and I'll show you how to control it, uh, the microphone, how to change settings, and then we'll close out. All right, guys, let's close out here. Let me show you how to control this transmitter. So let's get it out here. Now on this side here, you can see headphone and out. This is how you monitor. And obviously this is the charging information here. There's a type C down there for transfer or input. Now you have a mode button right here and a power button. So obviously this is how you power it off. Uh, and the levels here, you'll see there um, when it's in use, you'll see them go up and down like I showed you before. Uh, and then you can see the batteries are charging. They're right here charging. So you can see that they're charging. Now this actually has a menu to control. So the bottom one here, you press it once and you'll get into the setting. You long press and you can change. And you long press again to get out of it. Just that simple. So one press gets through each mode here. Just like that. And you go into each one to change it. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the um, audio levels. I can change it just like that. Then I'll go back. It was on six. Now it's on seven. And to back out, you can just hit the power button. So there it is, man. This is by far probably one of the best uh, setups that I've seen lately to compete with DJI. The onboard microphone recording is really sweet. I can just take this with me. I don't have to take the transmitter or the, the transmitter at all and just record directly onto the mic. Uh, that is really, really nice if I want to. So. I mean, what more do you want? Now, one thing I want to point out also, you can activate on this side of the, the transmitter. You can see there's a line right here. So you switch it to line. Obviously, you know what line is. You see that it turns to yellow there and it goes back to mic for it. And then on there's a type C port there to transfer data off and on this side here. When you want to turn on the noise reduction, you just press the button and it turns solid green. Uh, and then obviously when you want to go and record, you record directly by pressing that once to start and once to stop. So this is a very simple setup, man. And I think if you have uh, a device that you want to uh, get better audio from, this is kind of an all in one. I've tried this with Lightning and I've tried it with Type C on multiple devices. It worked with everything I used it with the S23 Ultra, the iPhone 15 Pro. The iPhones, the older generation iPhones, the 14 plus, the 14 that, that have this style, it's going to work. So, um, yeah, it's your man, Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed. Boya has come through here with a serious competition winner. Uh, and I think this is going to be <laughs> one that is, it, it, it's, it's crazy. But for the price and the quality, you're getting a lot. You're getting a whole bunch now for on the professional side. Before I get out of here, this is 48 kilohertz at 24 bits. So the frequency range is going to be from 20 kilohertz. Uh, so this is going to be a very solid setup. And then you have 80 decimals. So, I mean, two levels of noise reduction, a wind filter. You know, the audio is crystal clear. You've got 200 meters of range to operate with. What more could you ask for? I, I, I mean, I kid you not. It, it sounds like a sales pitch, but I don't know any other way to say it. It's actually a beautiful setup and the gains go all the way to plus nine. So no matter what you're doing, 
you're going to be able to get better audio for your system, period. There's no no if, ands, or buts. Now on the side there, on the receiver there, you can go, you can just type C is to charge right here uh, while you're using, so you can still get power to your device. I think I said data, uh, but, uh, excuse me if I said that, but this is to power it, your device, and keep it charged while you're gonna have to be on those long sessions for recording. So it's your man Jay, hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait to put this into rotation more. And it's just such a good microphone setup. You can't go wrong. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care.